Hi and welcome to my first video Photoshop tutorial. I'm Adam Sun and I will be showing you more or less how I did this photo that you can see on the screen right now. It's a photo of myself, well, da, -da and uh, it's taken by uh, by a friend of mine called Mikkel who came along to my studio and we played around and he did this shot of me. Um, the original photo looks like like this. Um, it's actually a JPEG with a picture style on it which has enhanced the contrast a bit but that's about it. Um, I've, I've been wanting to do this um, this dispersion, this uh, coming undone effect for a while. Uh, so I uh, so I sat down and looked through some uh, some other uh, tutorials, and um, eventually figured out how it was done, or at least how I would do it. So what I did was that I um, I did a cutout of myself um, like this, as you can see here. Not that. Uh, not that good of a cutout actually. Uh, fast one, the hair is okay, but still some some errors here and there, as you can see right here. I did it with the the extraction tool, which is okay for um, most things except hair. So I did this cutout, and um, and I did another version of myself which was bigger here. I copied myself and placed it right behind me like that made this one darker and I did this one as well which was just dragged out uh, out of proportion to be uh to be the uh, the fragments behind me okay let's see here so what i did was i um let's go to this layer and i added a layer mask and uh filtered with black so that the effect was uh, not shown and then i took as you can see here a brush white brush uh, with the maximum flow and opacity and just painted no, no sorry not painted but tapped the effect back like this I tapped back the visibility uh, of myself I did this with uh, n n varieties of uh, different splatter brushes found uh, online you can find uh, free brushes all over the place but um, doing this made the uh, gave me the effect of uh, this uh, dispersion or this uh, fragment effect okay and uh, I did this with the uh, the darker version as well as you can see um, here the darker version of myself to give it a more uh, a bit more depth in the in the final image and this was myself. I uh, I did the opposite with the with the cutout version. As you can see here, this is the the regular version, and I added the layer mask and and instead of a white brush, I did I did it with a black brush, and painted the effects away or off me. Uh, and I tried to find some uh, some similar brushes and similar cut-ins um, in the body to match the uh, the disappearing effects as you can see up here um, around this area uh, but more basically it's it's just a, a try and error uh, try if you can see uh, to make something look good actually okay this file is good um, this is more or less the uh, the main effect I, I added a uh, a white background um as you can see here I did not add this place though because there I just used the original image to uh, to gain the, the shadow um the reason why I cannot see the rest of the original image right now 
is because I, uh, I had a white layer on top of it except on that spot right there I am um, then added some vibrance not that visible um, some uh, some curves to make it lighter uh, especially behind me uh, you can see how the curves layer is uh, just lifted and uh, my favorite tool paint with light um, I've mentioned it in some of my uh, my written tutorials but uh, basically it's it's a uh, it's a uh, custom non-destructive layer where I with my white or black brush can add a uh, dodge or burn effect um, what I do is I, uh, I create a regular empty layer use the overlay blending mode and then I paint highlights back for instance like this I'm painting a highlight back um, you can see what it actually does I've, uh, I've used it um, on the skin areas mostly to brighten up some some selected areas um, it's also good to be used uh, when uh, when working with glamour shots and stuff like that to make the skin look more shiny I um, I actually added a lens flare here right around this area sorry um, turn the opacity down to uh, 15 percent instead of having a like, max as you can see here I thought it uh, my opinion, it it ruined the image a bit. I've uh, I've done some cross processing, which is giving this. Um, I, I don't know. At the moment, it seems like it's very um, very used in in fashion and stuff like that. So uh, I've I've grown uh, fond of it as well. It's a uh, regular curves layer, but instead of going uh, adjusting it in the uh, RGB channel. I adjust the le the channels separately, doing a small S curve on the uh, on the red like this. A blue I actually lift it up like this, which uh, means that my my black uh, turns a bit bluish, and then I uh, shift a bit down to uh, decrease the contrast on the blue layer. Oh, uh, channel sorry, and and the green I um, I mimic the uh, the red as well as you can see here so um, that's a good old cross processing you can find that on, uh, on, on different tutorials online as well um, on top I added a a uh, colored layer just to uh, brighten up the whole image a bit put it on soft light and opacity on 23 or so this gave it the whole uh, much more brighter look I would say but um, that's basically it thank you for listening to this video tutorial and watching it as well um, feel free to come back to my blog and see if I've uploaded some new I most certainly will